Hi, my name is Diana, and I um, I live in London and I work in London. I work for um, publishing house as a finance and business analyst. My name is uh, Andy Dawkins. Um, my job title is uh, an IT support and development officer. My name is Jason Scuzel, and I'm CEO and a producer director. So the company um, produces videos for corporates and companies that are looking to grow through marketing and sales. Basically I work uh, in an internal IT team and I support people with their IT needs. My main, like, main responsibilities are to basically analyse data, but it's kind of like an interesting data about our products and our markets and present it in a format so that it's a lot more easy to understand to senior management, so in forms of reports. And I also build websites and uh, design software. It's really good role in a way that I get to see how the company is performing and which products are doing well and which countries they are doing well as well. So my role is to manage the direction of my company and make sure the company is growing and achieving the targets that we set year on year out. Because I do analyse trends and how well um, the company is performing and which products sell better, usually as soon as the, um, as soon as the uh, country is not doing so well, like we're not selling as much product, I get to see it straight away and I actually report this information to more senior management who then would adjust the strategy based on that kind of outcome. Uh, I think the main way that my job uh, is affected by the global economy is uh, when purchasing hardware. Um, for example, uh, a few months ago we were contacted by our suppliers saying that because the exchange rate between the dollar and the British pound had changed, um, the cost of PCs and laptops was going to increase. So our job is affected by the global economy because we have to make sure that the crew we're working with across the world, whether it's freelance cameramen, editors, animators, um, get paid what their rates deserve and what the current inflation says it should be. I work with um, a couple of people from Tanzania uh, and also Kenya uh, and I've just started working with some um, colleagues from the USA as well. I work with many colleagues from all over the world and specifically today only I was dealing with someone from Spain and Russia directly. This is something I really enjoy. We work with numerous colleagues um, around the world from freelance cameramen to animators to editors and they help us when logistically we can't get to a country. In terms of what's best with communicating um, with people outside of the UK, I think it's, on a day-to-day -day basis, email is the best thing. It depends on the situation, I think. Um, so for day-to-day, -day, email is the best. We communicate with our colleagues across the world through a couple of different platforms, but the one that I tend to use the most is Skype. I like to have a conversation with someone, sometimes even a video call, so I can see them, understand their body language, see how they're reacting to what I say. If there's a bigger project going on, you've got a lot of different um, aspects that you want to talk about. Perhaps you've got things that you want to physically show them. You can't do that uh, via email. Um, we use things like video conferencing um, and instant messaging and things like that. Email is my first way of communicating. However, I also speak to someone quite often on the phone or I much prefer meeting people personally. After that communication, I like to back up that communication by putting what we discussed in an email. So to succeed in the global workplace, uh, the skills that would be really useful are definitely language skills. Of course, English gets you to meet the people and to speak to them because you need that to communicate. I think the best skills uh, to develop if you want to succeed in a global workplace um, would be communication, most important of all, uh, both written and verbal because it's very important to be able to 
get your point across, but also listen to other uh, points of view. I think if you're looking to succeed in a global workplace, communication skills are vital. Um, but I also think doing your research is very important. Different um, cultures and countries have different ways of communicating. Um, and I think it's important to know how to communicate effectively with people that you're trying to influence or get a point across to. Um, I suppose the second thing would be just a wider knowledge of different cultures, understanding how different cultures work, uh, different customs, things like that. Um, and I guess the third thing, which is not something I have myself, uh, would be uh, to learn another language. It would always be a, a helpful thing and probably will get more important as, uh, as time goes on, I think. Well, in the global workplace, it's really important to be open-minded because there's so many different cultures and it's important to be able to understand those cultures and not be judgmental about anyone else's opinions because everyone has different opinions and come from different backgrounds. The advice I would give young people to equip themselves in the global workplace would be to do their research on what country or what people they're looking to work with. Um, if they do their research, then they can understand the, the cultural um, ways of working in that country and they can make sure that they communicate with them in the most effective way that suits them. Academic qualifications are really important because they provide a platform for you to get that job. As an executive, I'd also agree that knowledge and awareness of the world is more important than your academic qualifications. I mean, academic qualifications are obviously highly, highly important, but sometimes your academic qualifications might not translate to the necessary country that you're trying to work in. Uh, I think academic achievements are very important um, because they do uh, actually give you a lot of that knowledge and a lot of that uh, wider awareness. Um, however, they're not the most important thing. So I would say people skills, um, doing your research on the place you work in uh, is highly, highly important and probably more important than academic qualifications.